hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I got at the thrift store this week. So if you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I also do DIY and decor videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. coffee. This time it's in a Dollar Tree mug, which says I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I got this this year. Got myself two of them. I think the other one says Jingle Bells or something, but you know I love the uh, black and red check. So that's why I got this. So I am going to show you what I got at the thrift store when I took you along in my thrift with me this week, which if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description box below. And if I remember, I will try to put a card in above my head in this video. And then I'm going to show you a few things that I got from a friend um, whose mom passed away and she gave me some treasures to take care of. Um, so I'm quite pleased and happy to share those with you. Okay, so let's go ahead first and look at what I found at the thrift stores. So I took you to the Ark Value Village. Is that right? Yeah, we went to Ark Value Village first. And then I took you to, I didn't take you with me into Unique because at that point I was running out of time. Um, so all of these things, except for the one milk glass vase that I showed you in my thrift with me, all of these things came from Ark Value Village. So the first thing I got was this milk glass vase um, because I was looking for one for my tablescape. This wound up being taller than what I wanted. So the one that I actually wound up using was shorter, probably about that height. Uh, and this is also wide. And you know, if you saw my tablescape last week, I was looking for it to hold candles. So the candle probably would have slipped in pretty far for this one, but I wanted to have one just in case because I always could have propped it up if I needed to. And Nothing major on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know a lot about milk glass marks. If you could see that. can't really read what it says. Hmm. Huh. It says, nope, not sure. But anyway, so that was 99 cents. Okay, and then um, I got several other things that I adore. Okay, so the next things that I found, I found another one of these. You know, I collect these Kakana Club Crocs. This is a cheese company in Wisconsin. So they're not too hard to find here. This one was only 79 cents. I might already have this one, but for 79 cents, I was not going to leave it behind. And um, I like these. I keep them all like nested together. I think collections are kind of cool when you keep them all together. I mean, sometimes I'll pull them out to use them in decor, but um, that's what I do with these. I just like to look at them. Then I got these two mugs and I got them because they looked like Franciscan Ivy which they're not the original pattern but they are made in England and I think that's still a Franciscan mark tell me if I'm wrong because I'm not sure and I'm not finding these online but I got these to sell um because I don't I have like two Franciscan um teacups but I thought these were cool because they're bigger mugs and I haven't seen things like this there is one that I, I've heard them called the Grand Mug, but they have a different stamp on them. So I don't know exactly what these are worth. So if they wind up not being worth much, I will just keep them and use them in the spring. But I did get them with the intention of selling them if I can figure out what exactly they are. But yeah, so they both say made in England and they have this stamp. Okay. Oh, and did I say this? They were 99 cents a piece. Okay. Then I got this. This is a giant um, cookie cutter. I think that's going to be really fun to make a giant sugar cookie. It'll be fun to decorate. I probably won't make too many of them, but maybe like three or four for Christmas Eve. Um, my hubby could definitely eat a cookie this big, so and probably my children too. So I'll make a few of those just because they're fun, and I think the kids will like to decorate those. I know my kids are older, but they still like to do stuff like that. So I got that for 99 cents. I got this. I really like this. I got it with a purpose in mind. Um, so my husband and I drink both decaf and regular coffee. Right now I'm drinking regular, but we like to keep both in the house. And I have a canister that I keep my decaf grinds in through the year, um, but I don't have something for the regular. And I thought, oh, I could use this for Christmas time. And then after Christmas, either turn it around because it'll have coffee in it and you won't see that or get a different canister. But I thought for the Christmas season, I'm going to use this on my counter 
and um, it's, it says Hermetic, and the bottom says Carlton Glass, and I paid a dollar ninety nine. So I thought that was really cool. I actually saw one at another thrift store yesterday, but it looked like the Christmas tree was like in the wrong place. Like it was over here at the like seam. It was very strange. So I didn't pick it up, but I am going to keep my eyes open because I know at least there's one other size of this. The, the one I saw yesterday was probably like this tall. Um, so I'm going to keep my eyes open for more of these. That's the start of a new collection. Okay. And then the last thing I picked up were these. And these I squealed when I saw. I absolutely love these. I've never seen anything like them. They are Christmas, they are milk glass, but with Christmas holly on them. I thought these were so pretty and different. And um, I looked them up. They are made in Mexico. You're not gonna be able to see it on here. And the name, it's like Termacrosa or something. Um, and they are worth a little bit of money. I'm gonna keep them um, and, and keep my eye out for more of these. I've never seen them before. And I really like them a lot. So those, I will keep my eye out for more. Um, for I had to have a whole set of Christmas time plates. I think those will be pretty. Okay, and that takes care of everything I got um, at the thrift store this week. And um, I don't know if I said this, my total was $12. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my friend gave me um, from the treasures from her childhood after her mom passed away. So I'm going to insert some footage here because one of the items is already in use. So this is a Santa truck. And my friend told me that her mom used to use this to collect the Christmas cards that they would receive in the mail each year. And so it would sit on a counter or on a shelf and they would keep their Christmas cards in this. So I have it here on my vintage Christmas bookshelf, which I will show you in its entirety in another video. And I put some vintage greens and this Mr. and Mrs. Claus in it, which I absolutely love. Okay, the next thing I got from my friend was this handkerchief and it says Victory. It has a French and American flag on it. So if any of you knows anything about this, um, I think we just, we were able to figure out which war, but we didn't really know about the handkerchief. We couldn't find much about the handkerchief. So anyway, I will be keeping that safe and definitely display. I think I'm going to um, frame it and display it for the patriotic holidays. I wanna do it in an acid-free way. It's very delicate, like the fabric is very, very thin. So I wanna make sure I do uh, preserve that. Okay, the next thing she gave me was this deck of cards. She knows I love vintage things and so I thought that was a really cool vintage image. And we could not find any information about this. All we found was WP Company Racine, Wisconsin, number 8164 Smart Set. But there just wasn't a lot online about this. Um, so I don't know. If any of you knows about vintage uh, playing cards, you can let me know. And then she gave me this. And I've had, you might have even seen this um, in other videos. I've had this on display in my dining room. I have it sitting in a flower frog. And it's basically this little book. There's forget-me-nots, I think, on the front. And then it says to and from. I guess you would have given it to someone. And it says a key to nature's lock. So I guess this is supposed to be nature's lock. And then there's these poems and words inside. So there's all these different poems about nature. And the one I've had on display is um, this one, I believe, yeah. Um, I just like the picture. Reminds me of Minnesota in the winter. The, the trees are bare. Looks like there's snow on the ground. So. so I've had that displayed in my dining room in a flower frog, of course. So love that. And the last thing I'm going to show you, she did give me some other things, um, but I don't want the video to get too long. So maybe I'll throw some more into a different one. Her baby pins, her baby pins and her brother's baby pin. So I thought those were really cool. And I'm going to display these in the craft room. I have some other baby items in there. So, okay, so that's all I have to share with you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I found at the thrift store, as well as these treasures that were given to me by a friend. If you like this kind of content and you're not yet subscribed, I would love it if you'd hit the red subscribe button. And if you'd hit the bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps my channel out and it keeps us in touch with one another. 
And uh, also you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden, where I post lots of pictures about things I find at thrift stores or ways I'm displaying things and some personal things as well as adventures that I go on with my family. So I would love it if you would find me there at Nicole North Garden. Have a great day and um, I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Take care.